how'd you decide to come to workers' comp court? Well, it, it got to the point where it is extremely bad, and uh, I'm having a real hard time sleeping at night, much less doing anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, I happened to meet with uh, one of my friends that has had the same problem because he's in the same business that I was doing, and he had worked for him for I think like 30 years. Okay. And uh, he he referred me to them, and I talked to him about it. And uh, they told me that we need to get some, you know, get it fixed if possible. And of course, we did go up and have surgery done on these things to, to get them fixed. But nothing is 100 percent. You know, it, it's just not there. I've had three surgeries, and uh, I still have damage, nerve damage. I still have uh, numbness and, and uh, stuff in my hands. Is this the best remedy, the best way to, to help him out with his problems? Well, I think so. It gives all the parties a fair shot in their day in court. Uh, you know, he gets to present evidence and tell his side of the story, and the insurance company can come out and the employer and uh, have their day in court and give their side and present evidence on their behalf and let a neutral party, the judge, decide that. And uh, I think that's the best way to do it. Would the proposed reforms kind of cut out all that other excess and make it easier for him to just get what he, what he needs? And I don't know how that would help him. It, right now he has the opportunity to ask the judge to send him for, to a doctor who's independent of both sides. Uh, you know, he can see a good doctor, find out what's wrong, and that doctor will be independent from our side and from the employer side. It's, we can ask for a court-appointed doctor, you know, get a fair shake and find out what's wrong and hopefully get treated and get back to work. That's the whole goal. I think there's flaws in any system, but this system gives him the best chance at getting fixed and getting compensated for his injuries, and it limits the exposure for these insurance companies and for employers. Uh, they know how much each body part's worth that's laid out in the statutes. Uh, Mr. Kruger has a chance to ask the judge to compensate them and so does the insurance company. If they're worried about the cost, they ought to look at how much the insurance companies are charging. It, insurance companies aren't going to stop charging high premiums. Uh, that'll have to be set out in the statutes. It's, you change the system. It, these insurance companies are making big profits. They're not going to give up profits just because you've changed the system. It, it won't work like that. It's, they're making good money now. They'll continue to make good money however you change the system. That's their goal. They're in business to make money. Uh, right now, claimants and injured workers have a fair shot at getting compensated and telling their side of the story in front of a judge. That may not be the case when you change the system to this administrative system. I think really the scary thing about that is that you may not have a judge to go in front of and uh, someone who's held accountable for the orders that are written. written uh, if you're an injured worker and you've worked somewhere a long time, you want to be able to give your side of the story and you want to be uh, treated fairly, and so does the employer, and so does the insurance company. Uh, when you go to a court, the judge is neutral. He gets to hear both sides of the story and decide fairly based on the evidence, and that's the way it should be. Uh, and that's our system right now, and it's a pretty good one.